Hi there, this is Jeff Moyer from the Calgary Web Design Network. I'm going to show you quickly today how to add a Google map to your website or WordPress blog. So fortunately in Google it's a pretty easy process. Uh, once you're on google.ca or google.com, you're just going to go up to your black menu here where it says search, images, maps, etc. You're going to click on the maps button to take you to your Google Maps section. So once we're in Google Maps, we're just going to enter whatever address we want to put into our website. So we'll just copy and paste that in and we'll click on the magnifying glass feature here. And once you have whatever address you want, uh, just where you punched in the address directly below that, there's a little um, printer icon and a link icon right beside that. Uh, we're going to click on the link icon and that's going to bring up the code. Um, the code it gives you by default will just link to the Google map. You don't want that. You want to go to the iframe code below, which will actually let you embed it into the website. So we're going to right click, we're going to copy, and basically that's all we need from the Google site. So the next step is going to be to take the code that you just grabbed and you're going to put it into your website. So uh, your website might be an HTML, it might be a CSS, it might be a WordPress blog. Uh, the process is the same for regardless of what you're using. So I'm using a Dreamweaver website right now, so I'm just going to paste the code into that. So uh, basically you can see where my address section is here. I'm just going to put the cursor below that and in Dreamweaver I'm going to switch to code view. And uh, once I have the place where I want to put my code, I'm just going to paste in that code uh, quickly and easily here. And once it's in place, I'll go back to design view. So you can see here now that the view larger map uh, link is there. So that pretty much tells me that it did work already. Um, in order to make sure it works for sure, you're still going to have to preview it in your browser. So we'll do that next. So once you click F12 or whatever else you use to preview the browser, you'll see whether or not it actually showed up into your website. So uh, you can see here the map is in place and you'll notice it's not just a static image. If you uh, scroll with your mouse, you can see you can move in out with it, you can pan back and forth. So obviously that gives your users a lot more convenience when they're looking at their maps. So uh, pretty simple process. That's basically it. Uh, for more web design tips and tutorials, visit me on www.calgarywebdesign.ca. Thanks for listening.